Things are going from bad to worse in Hong Kong under the draconian security laws introduced last year, which Johnny Patterson from Hong Kong Watch referred to as a constitutional coup. The first protest at the face trial without a jury under judges appointed by Carrie Lam was sentenced to nine years in prison for carrying a placard. More than 60 others await their own show trial. A group of speech therapists, those well-known subversives, were paraded in court in black hoods for the heinous crime of producing children's books portraying pro-democracy activists as sheep under attack from Chinese wolves. Apple Daily has been forced to close and its founder Jimmy Lai imprisoned, while perhaps saddest of all is that the government hotline, set up to help patriots grass up their neighbours, has received over a hundred thousand calls. For the smart money and those with eyes to see, the exodus has begun. Taiwan, Canada and Britain are among the most popular destinations, with 120,000 expected to apply for British passports this year. An American citizen is among those to have been arrested under the 2020 law, while a new law that comes in this month gives the Hong Kong authorities the right to stop an individual leaving the territory, whether they are a resident, a visitor or an expat. The same law means that a company can have its license to do business in Hong Kong revoked for something as trivial as a slogan. Joe Biden has told American companies that they face reputational, financial and legal risks if they continue to do business in the territory. The recent highly choreographed video conference of the China-Britain Business Council with President Xi shows that business leaders remain willing to face any amount of humiliation to retain access to the Chinese market. At what point will the price of doing business with the Chinese regime become simply too high? Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see some previous episodes, click here. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes.